Today on Cold Case Crusaders, we take a look at the tragic unsolved mystery of how a healthy teenage girl dropped dead in a park. Was it murder, an accident, or is there something darker going on here? Find out on this episode of Cold Case Crusaders. On a brisk spring morning, tragedy struck. Teresa McCarthy is found dead in a park in suburban Sacramento. Horrified, park goers flee the scene, but not before Sarah Schrute takes a picture of the crime scene and posts it to Instagram. It seemed like a pretty simple case, but examination of the body showed something interesting. There was a wound to the head, but no murder weapon was found at the scene. Her cause of death appeared to be head trauma. This is Special Investigator Martin Freeland. He is in charge of the McCarthy case. He and his partner, Gregor Zyom, are meeting at the police station to follow up on what they believe is a lead in a sleepy suburban neighborhood. Judge, they're clearly playing out some relationship mess through the court. You, you can't give me one day to fix this. Yes, I can. No, you can't. Tomorrow morning, two miles offshore, I'm having a ceremony. My family took the police car, so I'm going to have to take the van. Oh, forgot something. All right, let's get to work. So yeah, I have to give these flyers over to a school about not texting and driving. I'm um, contacting them right now. Yeah, I gotta do that sometimes when I don't have a siren just to get people out of the way. Oh, he's over here. Let's go talk to him. Good, good. Uh, I'm so glad we finally have a lead. What, what, what's the camera about? It's a documentary. I'm pretty sure it's cops or something. All right, well, let's go. All righty. The witness said he saw the murder happen. So you said it's a murder? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, that makes the most sense, right? Yeah, you're right. Teresa was a very sociable girl. Everybody loved her. She was so sweet and so special, but she was my little girl. I don't know why someone would just murder her in the park like that. I just don't know. I don't get it. She had weak bones, you know. Did you know that? She had brittle bone syndrome. And the only thing our doctor ever recommended for her was that she drink milk and take essential oils. I just miss her so much. Many have speculated as to the motive for the killing of Teresa. One prominent internet investigator has his own theory that may hold the answers Teresa's mom and the world have been looking for. My name is Michael, but you probably know me by my internet username. Nation Cover Up 69. It's my mission to expose government cover ups. In fact, people always ask me, Am I a reliable source? Yes, because I'm the smartest person I know. The only known photograph of this death is this Instagram post. And as you can see, there's no blood. She could be taking a nap for all we know. There's no real evidence. But when there's no evidence on the ground, we look to the skies. How do we do that? There's a mug. Look closely at the mug. You can see your reflection, but not just any reflection. A reflection of a UFO. Aliens killed her. Aliens, of course. How could we be so blind? This is the strongest theory we have as to Teresa's untimely fate. Let's see if investigators Gregor and Martin's witness can corroborate the story. What's up? We're here in regards to your police tip. Okay. 
So can you tell us what happened? You're not, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> she just tripped and fell, that's it. She died on impact, like a, like a watermelon getting hit with a hammer. Oh, I actually have a video, it's in my vlog, I got it in my vlog, you can go check that out, or I can just show you it. In the park, what is up, YouTubes? Uh, we got some boys over here. I just wanna know that if we can hit, if we can hit 3,000 likes, 3,000. Let's get that up here, boys. Let's get that up here. Oh, she, she did. Oh, my. <laughs> Makes sense. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. See you, officers. Another case solved. Or is it? Was it a simple trip? Foul play? Or was it aliens? This is another case that may never be solved. Tune in next week for more Cold Case Crusaders as we investigate the disappearance of Bojo the Cat.